Hey, welcome back, y'all. I'm Andre Thompson, a privileged bow hunter. Back with another video. Today's video is talking about uh, the Hamski Epsilon. This one's going to be a long-term review. I got it back in February of 2022. Today is May 28th um, of 23. So almost a year and a half I've had it. I've shot tournaments with it. I've hunted with it. I've used it. I've abused it. It's been in the hottest weather, cold weather, you name it, uh, this rest has performed in all those things. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk to you about the things I love about it, and then also some of the things that I wish would be improved upon. So what I need you guys to do is watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss anything. And before we get there, please, if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so you won't miss any time we drop videos. All right guys, so this is a must watch before you purchase the Hamski Epsilon, right? So the first thing that I love about it is the same thing that most people love about it. It's super compact. They took that older, um, old reliable, um, tried and true Hamski Trinity, um, and they just put it in a smaller package. And somehow they still were able to maintain its durability, its smoothness, um, its reliability, all those things are still there. So it's super, super compact. And then what that allowed it to do was to bring the um, arrow quiver over super tight to the, in my case, the Matthews line of bows that has everything now integrated, okay? So compact. Um, with that smaller package comes the next thing that I love about this rest is that it's light. It saves some weight on my bow, and then that allows me more variability. Um, it, it allows me a, a little bit more customization with um, the stabilizers. I can add a little bit of weight here because I don't have so much weight um, on the center of the bow. It just, it just makes sense to me. Um, so that's number two, it's light. Number three, the installation was, um, it doesn't get much easier than that in my opinion. Um, you attach it to the bow and then you take the um, rest cable and you run it to the limb. It's really that simple. Or in my case, I ran it to the yoke, um, pulled tension on it, um, made sure the little thing, the thing that kind of looks like a dampener has a little bit of stretch in it and voila, um, it's been good money ever since. Um, you may have to, after a good amount of shots, maybe just pull a little bit more tension on that. But after that, as long as you got good um, material, uh, you won't have to worry about that failing on you. Um, I've had some other rests that were the um, cable driven style that after a while, it would get gummed up. What I would see is I would shoot and I would have one arrow that goes wonky. I shoot another one to see what happened and either that arrow misses the target altogether or it's in a target and it's missing fletchings because at that point that rest fell and it stopped falling down. I've had zero issues with this Hamski. Um, if you know anything about hunting lanai, red dirt everywhere, especially if you're out there spotting and stalking. If you're hunting out there on the poly, let's say, where it's gonna rain on you on that hunt, and then your bow is probably gonna end up super muddy because if you know anything about that hunting unit um, to hunt pigs on the public out here, uh, it's just a brutal env environment for a bow. And it stood up to that <sighs> at least, if I had to try to guess a, 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 a rough number, 30 to 50 hunts somewhere in there over this time. I kind of get out there a good amount. Um, so lastly, right, one of the things I love is it's it's just bomb proof. It's going to work time after time. It kind of reminds me of a Glock, super simple. It's a clean um, and it just seems to be reliable. You can drop it, you can pick it up, dust it off or don't, and you still got um, a solid rest. So those are the things that I love. I'm sure there's some other things, um, but that's just what came to mind for the purpose of this video and to make this video not too long. Now, uh, some things that I would love for some improvement on. Um, I would like 
some type of um, etching or some type of marks on the rest that tells me if I am um, adjusting my windage, right, left or right, which way to spin that little knob up top takes the rest to the left or takes the rest to the right. What I did um, to give myself a cheat code, and you could too, so this really isn't much of a gripe, is on my riser, I wrote, um, I just gave myself a cheat code. There's an R, and then there's an arrow that points in the direction that I need to turn that knob, um, depending on what I'm trying to do. Um, the Allen key that you get with the um, rest, I recommend you guys don't lose it. I kind of had a little bit of trouble finding a replacement once I left it. The Allen keys here, it seems like one size is too big and then one size is too small. And then I went to metric um, and I was having troubles with those as well. So to make it simple, just make sure the one that they give you, do not lose it. Um, so that's that would be somewhat of a gripe. It seems like that Allen is a little bit weird. It would be nice maybe if all of them were the same size. Um, or the access to that Allen screw was a little bit uh, more easy. It only comes into effect when I am re, um, like say I go and set up my arrows, then I decide I wanna use another arrow setup, one's heavier or whatever, and my tune is different. Um, other than that, I don't have to mess with it in between because once I set it, I can forget it. Um, and then I have to remove one arrow from the quiver um, that can either be, that could be user error on my part, um, or maybe the Matthews quiver, um, can maybe be like an eighth of an inch further to the right, um, for a right hand bow to just give a little bit more space. Um, but regardless, I, I have a six arrow quiver and I take five arrows with me. I just pull that second arrow out. Um, and it's honestly not really that much of a problem at all. Um, I've always, I've generally shot with four arrows in a quiver anyway, so now I have five. Never had to use them all other than slinging arrows at a bunch of goats on big islands. So those are my pros. Those are my cons. All in all, I am super happy with my purchase. Year and a half later, no buyer's remorse. Um, I like to come back to the gear reviews that I do after I've put them through their paces for a good amount of time. There's an original video that's generally like a, what I think about it, installation instructions or something like that. And then now it's, hey, was I just hyped about it because it was new and shiny or what do I really think about it? And you, you guys see in this case with the Hamski Epsilon, this thing has been money. I didn't see another shiny rest out there that I wanna replace it with. That thing is gonna probably go from bow to bow. I don't really understand how you can beat this other than the small minor upgrades. Hey, please make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell your buddy about the video, tell your friend about the video, tell your mom about the video. If you don't know how to spell channel by now, it's P-R-I-B-I-L-E-G-E-D. We know y'all know how to spell bow hunter. We love y'all. Peace.